This week on the Wild Side, we talk about this incredible tiny creature. Who is it? Let's find out. is a flat rock scorpion native to the grasslands of Africa. Now, you might be wondering, why is Clyde being a little pansy and not holding this animal this week? Well, flat rock scorpions have a little more powerful of a sting than the emperor scorpions we've highlighted on previous episodes. I want you to take a look. Look right here at these pinchers. See how thin the pinchers are? Now let's bring up some footage of our emperor scorpion. Look how thick those pinchers are. The best way to tell the potency of the venom is to look at these pinchers. Look at that. Thin pinchers mean they don't have a very strong defense mechanism up front. So that means the defense along the tail has to be a lot more severe, which means their venom is going to be a lot more potent. Emperor scorpions have very thick pinchers. Now those thick pinchers have a very large ability to squeeze and crush and even pinch the predators that may be trying to hurt them. Well, the flat rock scorpion, because it lacks that very thick pincher, has a very potent stinger. Now, these creatures right here don't get all the credit they deserve. You see, flat rock scorpions actually grow longer than the emperor scorpion. This little animal right here, when full grown, will be up to nine inches long. But the emperor scorpion has them beat on just sheer weight. Now, emperor scorpions and flat rock scorpions, they hunt the same way. You see, they'll use their pinchers to immobilize their prey, and then they'll use the venom in the tail to sting the prey and turn the prey's insides into almost like a, a liquid consistency. And then they'll use their mandibles right here, their mouth parts, and they'll begin to feed on that cricket or that worm or that tiny little insect. Uh, now, this animal right here is from an organization called Critterville. We featured them on the show a few times. We can't thank Critterville enough. Now, flat rock scorpions, they're not going to kill you. The sting is not going to kill you, but it's going to be extremely painful. In fact, just I was about to come out and do this video and, and shoot this video, uh, John Ramirez, Dr. John Ramirez said, how's your pain tolerance? So we were able to come out and put this animal on a log so I don't get pinched or stung because you never know with these animals. They're just using their defense mechanism what, to do what it's made for, defend themselves from predators. And in this case, I could be seen as a predator. Now, they do live in the African grasslands, which is full of hooved animals like zebra and wildebeest, now even large giraffe. So to stay safe, they do frequently hide under rocks and logs. Again, they get the name flat rock scorpion because they can be found in these, these, um, these outcroppings, getting heat uh, from the African sun when it's been a cold night. I mean, just look at their body. Look how flat they are compared to the more robust emperor scorpion. This allows this animal to get even further and further under these uh, rocks and logs to stay safe from their predators. Now, scorpions typically are nocturnal, moving around more at night and using these hairs. Can you see the hairs? I mean, they're kind of tiny there, but they'll use those hairs to feel around and when something gets close, whammo, that's when they'll grab onto it. Now, flat rock scorpions, along with other scorpion species, are arachnids, related to tarantulas, spiders. However, their bodies do have some differences than those tarantulas, especially right here. This tail of the flat rock scorpion, that tail would just be the abdomen of a tarantula. In the scorpion world, it has been elongated and ends with that stinger. Now the sting, the stinger on this animal, of course, very, very small, but again, at nine inches long when full grown, this animal will be a formidable predator on the African savanna. Folks, that's it for this week. As always, please leave your comments below and I'd love to answer any questions you have about this species or any of the other species we've featured. 
Remember, go to Facebook and click Critterville. Search for Critterville. Give them a like and let them know you love creepy crawlies as much as they do. You can always please subscribe to us right here on YouTube and go to find our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. Let us know what species you want to see on a future episode. As always, stay wild. Conservation definitely rules. And we'll see you next week where we highlight yet another of your favorite species. Until then, see you later, everybody.